Sam Spangler continues our coverage with a bird's eye view from above the devastation. We flew up this afternoon from Kahului, headed north around the island to Lahaina. As soon as we got past Kapalua and Ka'anapali, we could first smell the unmistakable smell of brush fire, all followed by the devastation. What looked like hundreds of residences and businesses flattened like scenes from war zones, hurricanes, tornadoes. And with the temporary flight restriction, we stayed up at over a thousand feet and we're not allowed to go over the water, but we did see the charred remains of Lahaina's famous banyan tree, which has stood for 150 years and is Hawaii's largest banyan tree. Also up in flames, Wyola Church, which is celebrating its 200th year after opening back in 1823. The historic front street of the former capital of the Kingdom of Hawaii and Whaling Village all but destroyed. Neighborhoods to the north and homes also destroyed all the way to Makai, where last night the Coast Guard rescued 12 people who were brave enough to dive into the water as a last resort to save themselves from the flames. Some of our worst fears last night, imagining that scene confirmed with the wreckage we witnessed. The fires in Kula as well as Kihei continuing to burn as we saw military helicopters flying in with buckets out of Kahului to douse the flames. Reporting from Maui, Sam Spangler, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.